All right, hey there Capricorn. Glad you made it over. Let's go ahead and start the tarot part for your reading. The oracle part was really good. Um, now's the time they're saying to um, get out there, let go, have some fun, but yet uh, be the real you in whatever it is you do. Okay, and it might uh, might not go super easy smooth. You might have to release some allegiances from the past and that, but um, if uh, we've, we've all been there, we've all had to do that a uh, time or two, and it's going to be really good for you from the sounds of it. So, my Father, Spirit, Guide, Angels, show me clearly most high message for Capricorn. What's going on with my Capricorn? Show me clearly. One more shuffle. Show me clearly. Most high message for Capricorn. Okay, show me clearly. Most high message for Capricorn. Hi, message for Capricorn. All right, the waiting game. Show me clearly. Suffering in silence. Show me clearly. Two more cards. Yeah, we have the waiting game. We have the suffering in silence. And we have the authority of the emperor. Show me clearly. For some of you, that, wow. Okay, uh, there's been some mental conflict, okay? There's been some mental conflict here. Some of you could be dealing with a boss, um, maybe a father figure. Okay, triumphant success, passion ignited. And fulfillment of wishes. These cards are excellent. Okay, um, the energy that's coming with them is so cool right now. And knowing what the oracle cards have said already, this this is going to be very good. Whatever it is that you have, that you have been really thinking about really having you up in your head and stuff and and you were having to wait and i i get the feeling with the suffering and silence um not only is it almost over of course um but it's like you um you've had to just wait so long with like a big secret is kind of what it feels like um, and you haven't been able to talk about it very much. And like I say, it could be with uh, a boss or uh, someone else that you hold in that type of a regard, uh, respect-wise, not only lovingly, but it could be like a father figure that's kind of harsh. Uh, the um, An emperor can, can be kind of harsh. They don't play games. It's not that they're being mean or trying to be hurtful in any way. Um, I'm not getting that, but uh, very cut and dry, uh, very matter of fact. And um, you maybe have not been able to speak about that and uh, say how it is that they make you feel. But you're going to have triumphant success um, with whatever this is here. And uh, passion ignited again. So uh, again, this could be work still, something that you're very passionate about. Um, and, uh, you know, it back here with the waiting game, you know, you planted a seed of some sort and it's grown. And it's time to kind of cash in on that and reap the benefits and actually have some fun. And, um, there's been a lot of things that could be blocking you from doing that and that was that suffering part uh you know 
having to wait and um, you know kind of almost like keeping a secret or just you know I'm picturing like racehorses in the gate and they're all pumped up and ready to go any second and it starts to kind of drive them crazy and they start to act up when that gate doesn't open fast enough okay when everybody's not ready fast enough um, it's that type of a, a feel that I'm getting with that uh, and like I say you've not been talking about it very much um, but you know maybe things are going to open up for you maybe the blocks are going to go away and you're gonna have that triumphant success um, be it with this business here uh, and with the passion ignited in that these this is this is like the ace of swords and the ace of wands okay uh, new beginnings new passionate beginnings and they it's not necessarily like I say that this uh, that it's not dealing with this relationship this work or whatever this was in the past it's just hitting it up to a new level and you're gonna feel revived again um, and you're gonna have fulfillment of wishes okay they um, this is this is what you've been waiting for okay so let's see if we can figure out what it is Capricorns this is cool I like it <laughs> Father, Spirit, God, Angels, show me clearly. Most high message for Capricorns. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Most high message for Capricorns. I don't know. I have my fan on and my hair is blown around and the little single strands keep tickling my nose. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. But I really want the fan on. Otherwise <laughs> it'll be too hot. Alright, Heavenly Father, Spirit Guide Angels, show me why the waiting game is here for Capricorn. The waiting game. Yeah, this is something that's not in your control really, okay, with the wheel reversed. It's, it's going to happen in divine timing, okay? And um, I know that's hard to hear and that, but um, it's, uh, it's kind of out of our hands, something that we're not in control of, okay? And we have justice in the reverse along with the king of wands in the reverse. So um, I get the feeling that there could be, uh, this, this could be a relationship and that we have the two of cups in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse, both at the bottom of the deck with the seven of swords. Yeah, this is, um, <clears throat> this is like a, a relationship I'm getting and um, I'm getting the feeling that it's something that has already kind of dissolved and maybe with this COVID uh, you are unable Capricorn to fully complete the dissolution of marriage um, Because I'm getting that, you know, uh, with the justice card there, I'm getting something legal um, and that it doesn't always have to be, but uh, it could be something like that. And, um, you know, everything with the world today, with the COVID and all that, the courts are closed, you know, and they're not doing this. They're not coming to the completion with this. And... Um, it's kind of you know it's it's dragging it out uh, where it is that you want to be and um, there's that that's where the suffering comes in uh, it's not so much like a physical pain suffering but it's emotional it's like you want to be done with this you want to put it aside and move forward and you're being halted and um, I'm getting that you don't like that very much Capricorn <laughs> 
Uh, let's see, suffering in silence. Show me clearly suffering in silence. Just a couple. No. Normally this is way too much, but uh, I'm going to take it for this. Or I've got something to say here. We have the strength card, okay? Whatever this is that's been so upsetting to you, that's had you so lost in your head with mental conflict, you're you're gonna get through it. You're gonna be able to rejoice. Okay, that was underneath there too. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, in the reverse, it's. It's slowed, it's stalled, but the message is coming. And um, I get the feeling with the Knight of Wands here that um, maybe you are uh, very conflicted because you already have somebody that you want to move forward with. Yeah, two of wands, and everything is halted. You're just, you're not able to make that decision, and I really get the feeling that it's not because of you, okay? I really feel that your hands are tied here, and we have the six of swords. You know, you're ready to move forward. You're ready to go and do your thing, and the devil is in reverse here, and it's just... Um, there's I just feel frustrated right now okay I, I just really feel frustrated right now and um, <clears throat> you're unable to put that that ending to it to to get that new beginning yeah and and you're you're stressing about it you know um, for authority let's see what do we have for Capricorn for authority why is that here okay king of cups yeah I really I really think that uh, you possibly have met somebody uh, it's a king uh, it's energy so it can be male or female okay it's just an energy that comes forth okay and we have the three of pentacles yeah you're ready to take charge i believe that the emperor energy is you capricorn and you are in that mode where you are ready to take charge of your life you want to get it forward and moving and uh, you want to start this new beginning and and go to work with someone you know uh, and build that happy life um, then there's the magician in reverse Okay, you're not able to fully manifest, but now is the time to be doing that. Now is the time to seriously sit down and be thinking, what is it that I need? What is it that I want from this? When I'm able to finish it, what can I do? What can I, you know, how's it going to work for me um, to my betterment? Uh, if you have children, for their betterment. Um, and that and uh, we have the ace of pentacles in the reverse yeah this is just on hold and you may feel like you're going to miss out on an opportunity that was presented back here with the knight of wands uh, it came in I believe that this person came into your life completely unexpected and um, you want to make that choice to move forward with them, but your hands are tied yet with the legalities of your past relationship, your past person. And I get the feeling that you're concerned that uh, you may, may have missed it. Yeah, you're afraid you're missing because the Three of Cups is in the, or excuse me, the Three of Wands is in the reverse, okay? And this is normally my uh, card for your ships coming in. I mean, he's literally looking off into the sunset there at his ship coming towards him. But it's in the reverse. I'm afraid, you know, you're feeling like you've missed out. Yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles is here. And, um, you know... Uh, I think this is somebody that you're concerned 
about with your partner. Um, this can also this can also be your energy too, but I kind of. I kind of don't really get that right now. I think that this is someone who had some stability in the past with your person. Yeah, the balance. And, the, and you're afraid that they might walk away from you and pursue somebody who is available. Be it male or female, again. Um, sorry, I need a sip of Coke. <laughs> a lot of talking <laughs> all right let's see now that we're at the throat chakra and I feel that this energy here has you not talking about it with your person you're not communicating your fears and your concerns yeah with them uh, why is throat chakra here for Capricorns show me clearly What? Only one card came out? <laughs> All right. You have the moon. Okay. So um, you're not speaking about your fears and um, with this. And you're not seeing it clearly. I get the feeling with the Ace of Wands here twice in the deck that your person is not going to be going anywhere okay they don't want this queen of pentacles okay they want their emperor their empress okay they want their capricorn okay and um i think that the moon card is here with the throat chakra because you're not able to see that clearly and um it's kind of being hidden from you right now actually about how they truly feel about you okay um, because I don't I don't get the feeling that there would be any doubt um, if you were fully aware of their feelings I think there's a communication issue okay let's see triumphant success why is that here for Capricorns triumphant success okay so we have the chariot we have the Empress in the the chariot in reverse we have the empress in the reverse we have temperance in the reverse and we have the ten of wands okay so what I'm getting with this is that very soon okay temperance is in the reverse and and for me when I see temperance in the reverse it's it's not only divinely guided and will be in their time frame but when she's in the reverse and stuff I get that um, Capricorn that she's it, your time is coming now your time is coming like very soon um, and uh, you're you're in the reverse with the Empress energy um, because uh, the Empress number one wouldn't have any doubts okay the Empress is an empress she doesn't have to impress anybody everybody wants to be the empress you know um and i'm i feel that this fear back here has you questioning if you're good enough to keep your partner um there may be doubt because there's not clear communication on this subject and that has you in your head with this mental conflict and that um but uh and and the empress would not do that okay she would know um there i mean in the upright who wouldn't want her who would walk away from that you know what i mean um and it's just the self-confidence that's what I was trying to think of that uh, has taken a hit back here coming out of a relationship where you know things went bad maybe you uh, felt uh, like they left you a long time before you know before you actually said goodbye you know um, 
and that's a hit to the self-esteem and then here without getting you know you know how you feel about your person this new person that you can't wait and you're like chomping at the bit to get out the gate and run that race and you're not sure through unclear communication that you've had and communication that you haven't had yet you're unsure as to how and where you stand with that person and the empress would know okay and right now you're not being the empress capricorn and you need to work on that as best you can and it's not easy it's not easy but uh you need to listen to your intuition listen to how your body feels and reacts when you're with this person listen not only to that but what are they not saying? What are they not saying to you? Are they taking care of you? Being concerned? Uh, wanting to come and see you all the time? Um, are they, you know, attempting to buy your groceries? Attempting to, you know, help you out with anything that you need? They, they come up with the resolute, you know, there's different ways to show feelings than just hearing them. Hearing them is important and I totally get that. But uh, pay attention to the actions. Trust your intuition. And then this card is going to flip over. Um, and right now you're halted, you're stalled. You know, it's going to move forward here with the chariot in reverse. And when it starts, I mean, it may be slow right now, but when this takes off, you're going to shoot out of that gate and race that race. And um, it's going to move very quickly, okay? Um, but again, for some reason, something out of your control has that card reversed for now. Uh, has this all slowed down. And when this takes off, uh, you're going to be able to lay down your burdens. Okay, right here with the Ten of Wands, you are feeling very burdened. You really are in your head a lot, Capricorn, and um, regarding this situation. And... Um, yeah, you're ready to move forward and get a balanced life and that, but it's just not happening right yet. Um, why is passion ignited here? Why is that here for Capricorns? Whoa. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay. So, you got the lovers okay this is a very good relationship okay right now you're not happy because you're not seeing with the two of swords and the nine of cups you're not able to make the choices that you want to make to take control of your life and um, this situation and so yeah it's not happy right now but um, this is this is what you hope for this is your star here and um, the page of pentacles that that offer for not only um, you know I know it's a pentacle it's a coin so it usually refers to like money or whatever but it also refers to stability and foundation and um, you're getting that new foundation there and um, it's just halted for right now okay with the eight of pentacles you've put a lot of time into this it maybe it's been a year maybe uh, you know a little bit more or a little bit less but you've put a lot of time into this and you want to see it through but you have to wait okay and because you, you have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck you have three aces on the board you're you're going to be taking off okay and um, what is this fulfillment of wishes for Capricorn? Show me clearly fulfillment of wishes for Capricorn <laughs> and Ace of Swords. You're getting the truth. You're getting the truth. You're going to know and you, there, there will be no doubt. Okay, because this is a very good connection here with the Two of Cups. Okay, 
yeah this is this is very good this is a very strong relationship I'm just going to clarify a couple things here for you and um, yeah you, you know a lot of these cards are major arcana and with that uh, you're really feeling it this is a big deal for you um, show me clearly for a and you're not um, with the major arcana it's a big deal you're feeling it but a lot of these cards are at the end of their rope too with the cycle so Luna stop uh, show me clearly why king of wands is reversed here okay yeah ten of pentacles okay um you're you felt in the past that uh i'm i'm getting that you felt in the past that that person was your person i get the feeling capricorn that you really expected that to be I get the feeling, number one, it was a long-term commitment, okay? It could have been multiple years. Um, but I get the feeling you expected it to be the happily ever after, okay? And it didn't turn out that way, creating uh, an energy for you, like, what was wrong with me? Why what, was I not good enough, you know? What... What could I have done more? That type of thing. How how could they fall out of love with me? You know, what what did I do wrong? That type of an energy. Um, but you're putting an end to that. Okay? That energy, that you, and you started moving on. And I believe this new relationship just hit you totally out of the blue. Okay? And it, because you're the empress. You're out there looking good, okay? Uh, this, again, this could be male or female, okay? I'm just saying. Uh, you're out there looking good. You know you, you know what you want. You know, there you, you had a goal, okay? That type of a thing. And you, you, on the outside, on the inside, you beat yourself up with that energy I was just discussing okay and you had the strength to just keep going to suffer in silence to put on that show to put on that face and go out there and and you bumped into somebody and you just um you didn't expect it you maybe weren't looking. You were maybe going out just to have some fun, you know, with the guys or with the girls. Okay, you didn't expect to meet that person. So let's see. Why is the wheel here with the justice in reverse? Okay, you have the Knight of Wands and you have the Six of Cups in reverse because you needed to uh, and the Knight of Wands is moving quickly this person came in quickly you did not even notice um, and uh, you know the Six of Cups is usually looking back and you know reminiscing and maybe having just one view which was like I was saying when you look back you know like what could I have done better how could I have bettered myself and, and taking on that blame for whatever it was that happened, taking that on to yourself. And um, you've stopped doing that. Uh, maybe once in a while. But you're, you stepped into this role of the emperor here eventually because you had the strength to do it. With your time you took to yourself, healing. Um... Why is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay, the Hermit. 
in the reverse. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, things were slow moving at first because at first you didn't do that. At first you were just blaming yourself. Um, possibly even blaming them, but still at the same time it was tearing you up. But you're coming out of the heartbreak, okay? Because you got that new offer, that new spark, that new passion ignited, okay? Why is the Two of Wands here in the reverse with the Devil in reverse? Yes, Capricorn, you're definitely coming out. You're going to find your peace because you you felt left out in the cold. Okay, you felt left out in the cold. You felt unworthy of having love with the Ace of Cups. But that was the devil talking to you. And he's in the reverse here because you're shutting him up. You're shutting him up because you got a King of Swords coming in telling you the truth. Okay, um... Yeah, let's see. Why is the King of Cups here with the Three of Pentacles? Okay. It's the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay, in the upright. And um, he's. it's here because you're... Uh, what is it? Okay, that's this card. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um the six of pentacles here is because you have so much to share you have so much to share this person i'm sorry it's your it's your new person has so much to share they're treating you equal there's a fair balance with the give and the take nobody you don't feel like it's just one-sided you actually are feeling appreciated and you know actually feeling wow is this what it's really like you know um, and uh, because you were hurt, there was a lot of heartbreak here. You were very, you were very hurt. Like I say, you really expected this past relationship to last, and it didn't. And I have a feeling that you were the one that had to cut that. Um, and curious if you made the right decision moving forward. Um yeah you know were you again the three of cups in the reverse or three of wands i'm sorry in the reverse and the king of wands in the reverse and the page of swords the messages weren't coming in the communication was horrible um you you felt with um uh you felt you were missing out and then this person's coming in and he's putting an end to that. He's putting an end to that. You're coming out of there, out of those night, you know, the anxiety and the sleepless nights and stuff. And you get a three of cups, followed by the star card, your hope, your 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 wishes, you know, coming true. And you just did not expect this person to come. Now the thing is, is you still have to finish that healing process of It, it's so important, Capricorn, not to need someone else to make you happy. Okay? And I get the feeling that you know what I'm talking about, that you are right there. But at the same time, you're really crazy about this person. Okay? You are very much head over heels with this person. This connection is strong and you don't want it to go and you are afraid. There's definitely a fear and I, I think to have this conversation because they maybe are coming from a similar background themselves. Maybe you both didn't intend to find each other and you're afraid that if you're if you say too much too soon, then it might scare them away. There's that out there too for some of you. Uh, why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon here for Capricorn? Okay, we have the strength. You are all that, okay? Don't doubt yourself, Capricorn. You are all that. Okay. 
You have the strength to get through this situation. You have the strength to hold your head up high and walk among beasts and control them without fear. You're badass, Capricorn. Male or female, it don't matter. You got this. And you have the strength inside you. And I think you're going to be doing it pretty soon to have that conversation so you guys can move forward and rejoice. Um... Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Chariot in Reverse? Ten of Wands here with the Chariot in Reverse for Capricorn. Show me clearly. Whoa. Way too many. Way too many. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Chariot in Reverse? Okay, yeah, you're, you're starting to see, you're starting to make the choices. And you have the high priestess here in the reverse too. And the high priestess is the high priestess regardless, upright or down. You are someone who is magnificent. You are someone who is very good looking, very, very beautiful. Um, and you're smart and you have the knowledge within you to know what to say how to react how to act you know um, you have all the skills um, you're choosing not to use them right now because you're being blocked by fear and you're also being blocked by whatever this situation is that needs to be completed back here okay but you're coming out and you're making those choices okay um, and then you have the page of cups it, it, in the reverse and just the messages of love that need to be spoken that aren't right now because of this block why is temper or the empress and temperance reverse here for Capricorn you're coming out of this energy though I feel you letting it go you're gonna find your peace you're gonna find your peace and um, this connection is very strong it's like none you've had before with the king of swords here the king of swords here in the upright yeah uh, now you're gonna find out how your person really feels and you're gonna get the truth and there will be no more bullshit okay sorry for my language but you'll be able to be less defensive because you'll have healed and done the work okay Eight of Pentacles and the reverse. Why is that here? Eight of Pentacles and the reverse. Oh, the Fool. Yeah, because you're ready to take that new leap of faith. You haven't yet, but you're you're going to. Okay. Um, why is the Star card here? Star card here for Capricorn. Star card here for Capricorn. Yes, because the Empress, the Empress, you have the knowledge. You and she's in the upright. She is no longer in the reverse. Okay. You flipped it. This conversation, this taking charge in your life, this knowing what you need to do, has put you in a very powerful position, and you are very desirable. And it really is going to turn them on even more so than they are already. Okay. Uh, nine of cups in the reverse why is that here okay yeah ace of pentacle just because things are in the in the reverse it's because uh your your new relationship foundation this new opportunity that you have is there it's waiting it's not going anywhere you're not missing it it's there and it, it's pulling you out of heartache it's going to stop those fighting. It's, yeah, it's going to stop the fighting, the bickering, the holding back. You guys are just going to take off. Okay, the lovers here with the Two of Cups and the Strength card and the Emperor and the Empress. Okay, this is a dynamic duo. Okay, why is the Lovers card here, please? For Capricorn, show me clearly why the Lovers are here. Show me clearly. Why are the lovers here? 
Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Yeah, but it's all your hard work. There's there's not going to be there's no third party issue. Um, you're you've put in the hard work. It's going to pay off. Okay, you guys. It's the sun card. It's your abundance. It's your happiness. It's your everything. And that and um, the Queen of Swords here. In the reverse, there's somebody that's not going to be too happy about it. Whether it's your past partner or their past partner, but um, it comes out awesome for you, okay? Um, there's some stumbling blocks that you are creating with the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And that uh, that's kind of slowing this down a little bit too. It's not all this past, but um, yeah, the, you're going to clear this up, Capricorn. You're going to get it out there and it's going to make a big difference. Okay, and Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? With Fulfillment of Wishes. Ace of Swords with Fulfillment of Wishes. Show me clearly. For Capricorn. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> somebody's somebody. She's in reverse. Somebody's going to be angry. Uh, they're not all. Not everybody's going to celebrate for you. But uh, this is, yeah, this is great. Eleven, eleven, Wheel of Fortune. Very good reading. Very good reading. Now is the time releasing some of those allegiances that are maybe not agreeing with this um, and finding your peace discovering your happiness okay all right Capricorn if you like this message if this resonated with you in any way please let me know um, if you would like a personal reading shoot me a message we'll we'll totally discuss it um and uh if you wouldn't mind you know clicking on the youtube channel and uh giving a little subscribe and a like over there too would be awesome every little bit helps okay capricorn be good to yourself and enjoy this this is good go talk <laughs>